this is something that Andrew Yang was talking about when he was running for president in, I guess it was 2020. He was talking about that. And he was right. He was right. That there's some things that are happening. Was that 2020 or 2016 with Andrew Yang? I don't remember. 16. 16. And uh, he was very concerned even back then. So this is eight years ago. He's saying, like, AI is coming. And when it comes, that's why he was pushing for universal basic income. Sorry, 2020. 2020. So that's why he was book, um, pushing for universal basic income. He was saying, look, there's going to be so many people that there are no jobs. Like, if you're a truck driver, yeah. you have 10 years. In 10 years, everything will be automated. There will all be those giant electric trucks. Mm -hmm. They'll all be run by a computer. They'll never get in accidents. And they never get tired, and then you, you never have to worry about them doing meth and picking up hookers or going crazy, <laughs> <laughs> falling asleep at the wheel, oh, and come driving on. into a fair. That's what makes the best cops episodes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a world, huh? That truck driver world? Yeah. That's a world of wild folks. Well, you know, I, we, we tour on buses, and we got to fuel up at the same places where they do. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, it's a... It's a, it's a funky world out there. It's a funky world. A lot mm -hmm. of dudes on amphetamines doing 12, 13-hour runs, just wide eyes, huge mm -hmm. pupils, mm -hmm. just listening to conspiracy theories on the radio. Well, yeah. We had one of them <laughs> drive us. Did you? Yeah. 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 Crash the bus. Oh, no. Really? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, not crash the bus, but like kind of ran the bus into a... He, he ruined the bus. He was all doped up and super drunk and oh no yeah and we didn't realize he was going through any of this type of <sighs> stuff so we were leaving a gig one night and sure enough he pulled the bus crashed it into the gate oh no I had to grab this motherfucker so he was fed up at the gig yeah so he got fed up while the show was going on yeah i think he he'd just been going for i guess maybe a bender we had a couple of days off i think uh, in a certain city Dude was just gone. I guess he just oh. got into it. And said, forget. He just hit the forget <laughs> button. I was like, man, fuck all this shit. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, that's a danger, right? Because you're just trusting this dude. And it's not like you're going to drug test him every day. No. He's a driver. You trust him. He's a professional. Yeah, he's, had, he's got a resume. People have hmm. recommended him for you know years and years and years. He does his job. You do your yeah. job. How you doing, Frank? Yeah. I'm going to sit down the bus. Yeah. Meanwhile, Frank is just gone. Uh, we didn't. We didn't. Yeah. Frank is on coke and tequila. Yeah. And, yeah. Ah! yeah, I've been at the hotel lobby bar just going after it. Just all day long. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, it shows up. He's like, hey, ride's here. Oh, yeah. boy. And he's like, I got this. Yeah. I got this. We just met him, I guess, at the wrong time. Yeah. You, know, you could have caught him a month earlier. Everything would have been fine. Been cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a but balancing yeah. act for a guy like Frank. <laughs> but, I, you know, I think about those those, those truck drivers, man, and, and, you know, bus drivers who drive at all funky, weird times at mm -hmm. night. And, you know. It's a lonely life. Yeah, absolutely. It's a lonely life. If you have a family, too, you're sad. Sure. You're set, your family's at home. It's 12 hours of driving to get back there. Mm-hmm. And then you're only there for a little while. You got to go back again. Yeah. Man, that's what kind of has been my problem with touring, the way we've been touring, is being gone Yeah. multiple times you know, for long periods of time during the year. I only did that once. I only did the, the the month thing once. Me yeah. and Charlie Murphy and John Heffron, we did this Bud Light Real Men of Comedy tour once. Mm -hmm. Well, we did 22 dates in 30 days. And sure. we were just out basically every night. Wake up in a hotel room, where am I? Yeah. Where am I? I forgot where I am. And after that, I was like, I'm never doing that again. I Like Tom Segura, that crazy fuck, he'll do like 60 dates in a row. He'll mm -hmm. be gone for two months where he has a show almost every night. Yeah, and he's just going all over the place. That his name, the name of his tour was "I'm Coming Everywhere." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <Which is> brilliant, <laughs> brilliant. 